Hello friends, today's topic is about isotonic expansion. Now expansion of this extracellular fluid that is related with the overhydration. So previously we have seen that dehydration, same there is a sometime overhydration will be there. Now this overhydration that is also called a hypervolemia. All over water content of the body that is increased and that is also called a water intoxication. So excessive water that is also leading to some toxic effect and that is called water intoxication. Now to understand this hypervolemia again it is divided in a three variety based on the osmolality so there is a three types of the expansion of extracellular fluid is observed that is isotonic hypotonic and hypertonic so simple that isotonic means osmolality of the plasma that is just remain same it is not altered because retention of both water and sodium is observed in this isotonic type of the expansion so isotonic expansion of extracellular fluid so why it is occurring which are the basic reason which biochemical changes compensative mechanism and causes of it we will look in this video so first detail of this isotonic expansion you have to remember that retention of both water and sodium so in this isotonic expansion there is a characterized by the particularly edema so due to that excessive accumulation of water and sodium what happened there is excessive fluid is accumulated it is also represented or present in the tissue interstitial space and that is also observed or look like a edema so there is a edema is typically seen in this type of patient further there is a hemodilution overall blood volume is increased and due to increased blood volume what happen whatever the hematocrit value that will be lower down so suppose hemoglobin that is hemoglobin rbc count wbc count platelet count that will be observed lower down actually they are within a normal limit but they are de decrease in number that when we are calculating or uh, running this blood sample there is a hemodilution is observed typically due to increased blood volume now this isotonic expansion is generally secondary to the hypertension and congestive cardiac failure this hypertension is mostly if it is related with the renin dependent hypertension renin dependent hypertension what happen particularly this renin is excessively secreted along with that renin aldosterone is secreted excessively and that is leading to excessive reabsorption of the sodium in the body so all over ex uh, sodium level is increase in the plasma and along with this ccf congestive cardiac failure what happen here particular uh, blood is not able to come back up to the heart for the further circulation and this accumulated blood which is mostly in a lower limb and that is deposited in the interstitial fluid and typically edema is seen but all in this condition what happen there is a excessive secretion of adh is also observed particularly first renin secretion that is retaining more sodium but in ccf there is a excessive secretion of adh that lead to the more secretion of antidiuretic hormone that is also leading to the increase all over water content of the body so as a secondary hyperaldosteronism will occur here what happened decrease volume decrease volume in a ccf particularly and that is leading to the secondary hyperaldosterone because blood volume is decreased then what happened again renin angiotensin aldosterone system will be activated and that due to aldosterone again that sodium reabsorption will be increased but one more thing that is hypoalbuminemia in that also there is a typically colloid osmotic pressure is decreased and what happened water content which is present in vascular compartment that will go outside of the vascular and present in the interstitial fluid now all these condition what happened there is already water and sodium level is there but it is go outside of the vascular compartment but it is represented in a different way so he this hypoalbuminemia is typically seen in cirrhosis of liver nephrotic syndrome and malnutrition so these are the typical causes of the hypoalbuminemia so all over water retention in extra vascular space but it is not represented by the vascular compartment so here adh secretion will be there and retain more water so it will worsen the situation of the expansion of the body so isotonic expansion that is like a vicious cycle already there is a high volume of uh, water is there and due to secretion of this adh as well as secretion of renin angiotensin aldosterone system so system that will lead to the further aggravate the situation so diuretics and fluid restriction that is the only main main treatment plan of the isotonic expansion further once cause is corrected means suppose cause is like cirrhosis of liver nephrotic syndrome and malnutrition if you are correcting or treating it properly and over all over albumin level will be increased if there is a ccf and hypertension and if you are treating hypertension and ccf properly then only it is possible to correct this fluid volume so once cause is corrected properly then volume will be restored properly in the body so that's all about the isotonic expansion of the extracellular fluid